To assemble the rig, you'll need a set of four layers and snoods of your choice. Here, I'm showing all four sets. The main rig line, again, is £35 monofilament line. I've got an optional swivel layer, which I'll talk a bit about later. And then for storage, a press seal bag, but you could use a rig wallet or a rig winder. I've got a pair of scissors and a meter rule or a yardstick. To begin with, I'm going to take my rig line and just place it on the beginning of the ruler there. I'm using this high vis green just for demonstration purposes, and I'm going to measure up 600 mil, two foot approximately. This line is still attached to the spool. Holding that line at 600 mil, I'm just going to make a loop. And this is the first part of a very simple knot, it's just a double overhand knot. I'm going to loop the end line through that and through again. Then I'm just going to tighten it up a bit, not all the way, just so it's a bit smaller. Then placing that first knot at the beginning of the ruler, I'm going to measure up another 250mm or 10 inches. And then in the next position I'm going to do exactly the same again. So I'm going to form a loop and pass the line through twice. There's my previous knot. There it goes again. I'm just going to hold that position and just tighten that up. Again, not so it's closed, just so it's a bit tighter. Yeah. Then it's just a case of repeating that for the next two knots until you've got four loops on the main line. So once you've completed your four knots, you can go back to the first knot again and then just tighten it gently. And what should happen is the knot will fold up to give you two loops. Then through the eye, I'm going to pass the line, the snood line, from one of my layers. You can see the layer there. Let's just hold that against the rig. And then back out through the other eye. There. Then with both hands on the main line, I'm just going to tighten that knot up a touch. Not completely, it's just enough really to grip the line, the snood line. And now with my snood line, I'm going to make a loop. It's going to be between about 25mm and 30mm, so about an inch to inch and a quarter. And then I'm going to tie a uni knot. And that means taking the end of my snood round, wrapping it around the main line and the loop. One, two, three, four times. There we go. It's a good idea at this point just to wet this loop. I've just taken a bit of saliva there and just running it along. And now I'm going to tighten up by pulling the tag end of the snood. So I'm going to pull it one way and then holding the main line I'm going to pull the layer back a few inches then holding the layer on the main line I'll pull up a bit and then I'm going to kind of pinch the line and just push this knot back and it should start to tighten up. So holding the main line I'm going to pull the layer and that knot tight now and back onto the main line and pull that tight. You can see the two knots there and what I'm going to do is trim the tab end, leaving, this is the end of the snood, leaving a few millimetres there just for safety. There. So it's exactly the same for the other three knots. So if I zoom out there, you should be able to see the lure, the snood line cut and the knot attaching it to the main brick line. So once you've attached all your layers to your rig, you can then 
working backwards from the bottom branch 450 mil you can create the loop and this is obviously going to be at the bottom of the rig where the weight is so all I'm going to do is fold that over there at 450 mil from the bottom branch so taking my loop I'm going to form another very simple knot which is a double overhand loop knot so I'm going to make another loop here and pass this loop through once, twice, there's the double and then just open this up a bit and I want quite a large loop here because I'm going to pass that over my weight when I'm fishing and that's just a case of tightening that up again probably benefit with a bit of saliva or water that's it so to form my connection at the top of the rig I'm also going to create another loop and I'm measuring here from the top branch and I'm going to come up approximately 350mm and just cut that line then measuring up from that last branch again to 200mm I'm going to make my top loop here I'm going to take the top loop and just repeat what I did with the bottom loop, which is make a loop and take it twice through and pull tight. This can be a bit smaller this end because there's no weight that it needs to loop over. So just tighten that up. And trim the tag end. As an optional extra, if you use a fixed spool reel or your hand lining, then it's often good to add a, a swivel to the top of the rig. And I normally do this just by looping it over like this to form a connection. I very rarely add a swivel here because I fish normally with a multiplier reel and it doesn't seem to suffer from the same problems of line twist that fixed spool reels do or you get when you're hand lining. So it's up to you. To store the rigs, I generally just coil them up loosely. I don't like putting kinks in them. Leaving the layers to one side. And then I just tuck them inside the bag. So with a bit of time on your hands, you can put a few rigs together, get yourself out to do some fishing. If you've enjoyed watching the videos, don't forget to share, like, tweet them, twonk them, Facebook them, whatever. Uh, there's a link underneath there to my blog which has got more DIY projects. Thanks for watching.